A couple of days ago, I made a video highlighting some issues that I had with the new specializations that DICE were testing on the Battlefield 1 CTE. Now, five of them caught my attention, and not for good reasons. Essentially, they replaced active team play functions with passive abilities, which I felt, and many people in the comments felt, was the wrong direction for Battlefield 1 to be going in. Now, DICE has released a statement regarding the feedback they received on these new specialisations, and I'm happy to report that it seems our feedback was extremely helpful to them. The statement was made on the CTE Reddit pages by Alex Sulman. He's the senior gameplay designer over at DICE LA, and he's given out some further information surrounding these specialisations, and also gave word that some of them have been delayed until a later update on the Battlefield 1 CTE. Essentially, there are now four specialisations that DICE is pulling back and will reassess them. These four specialisations are called Medic's Aura, Mobile Arsenal, Armour Transfer, and Deft Recon. All of these applied some passive abilities to the soldier who had the specialisation equipped. Now, Medic's Aura allowed a medic carrying a medical crate as one of their gadgets to not have to place it down in order to heal people. People could just get close to that medic and they would be passively healed by them. Mobile Arsenal did the same thing, but with ammo in the support class, meaning a support soldier didn't need to place down a crate to resupply friendly players. Armour Transfer was an assault class specialisation that replaced any armour perk of other players in your squad with your own if it was higher than theirs, I believe, although that was a work in progress specialisation and I don't think you can actually use it, although it was still listed as a specialisation. And the last one, Deft Recon, essentially gave scouts a mobile spotting flare ability that would ping at certain intervals, lighting up the minimap with nearby enemies, essentially meaning you wouldn't need to use the flare gun all the time to spot people. Now here is the first part of what Alex was saying on the CTE in this quote, why they're being delayed. These four specialisations were carefully designed to fill very specific roles within the corresponding soldier kits and were certainly not designed to be overly passive in use. The details of these designs were not effectively communicated prior to their release on the Battlefield 1 CTE, leading to some crucial elements being missed. We'll be sure to communicate these details moving forwards. Essentially here, Alex is saying that the communication of how these new specialisations were intended to work was not properly communicated to the people that were then trying to use them and give feedback on them on the CTE. The result was videos like my own, where I was heavily critical of their inclusion because we weren't given all of the information. Alex goes on to clarify what is going to happen with these specialisations now they've been delayed. Given the feedback these four specialisations have garnered, it seems prudent at this point to delay their release until we are able to properly address the concerns. This does not mean that they are being taken back to the drawing board, but rather being reassessed to see if there are better ways to achieve the intended specialisation they were each trying to hit. Now, in my opinion, this is a good message to send out to players. DICE is not removing them from the game forever, but they will be reworking them to see if there are other ways of bringing these kind of perks into the game without the negative side effects they were going to have on team play and overall skill. This means in the long run, we will still get more content to use in the game, which in my eyes is obviously a good thing. Alex also said the accompanying service assignments that were linked to these specialisations, that's the way you would unlock them, they have also been pushed back as there's no point having them live in game if there is nothing to be gained by completing them. I'm really happy that DICE has come out and been so forward with their change in stance over these specialisations. There was clear feedback from the community that these four were not what people wanted to see in the game at all, and to their credit, DICE took that on board and they are now seeking to find other ways of introducing these specialisations, and likely they are going to be different from what they were before. 
There are also a couple of other points that Alex mentioned, and I wanted to get those out there to you as well, so you've got a full understanding of what's going on with all of the new specialisations that could be coming to the game very soon. One further specialisation that I think many people took issue with was one for the Scout class called Ripple. This specialisation spots nearby players on the minimap if you land a headshot kill on an enemy. Now this directly punished nearby enemies for one of their teammates dying, even though they might not have been visible or even audible to the person who just landed that headshot kill. Now Alex has stated that this specialisation is still currently active in the CTE, but DICE will be working to release a new version of it. We are taking steps to adjust the design of this to mitigate the valid concerns over the unfair punishment of teammates, while still maintaining the ability for scouts to contribute to large team fights. That was the original intention for this specialisation. Ripple then, alongside three other specialisations called Pilferer, Perseverance and Reciprocity, they will be tweaked and changed soon, but they haven't been delayed. It's still DICE's intention to have them as an active part of the CTE, so they can continue to take feedback on them and bring them to a place that both DICE and the community feel comfortable with them. So they're still in active testing, basically. So that's all the information about the soldier-specific specialisations, but of course there are four vehicle-specific specialisations that were also in testing. These four will be remaining in the CTE, including Convoy, which allowed a tank driver to share their self-repair with other nearby vehicles. Again, I wasn't a fan of this personally because it's basically a passive repair to another vehicle. It doesn't require a huge amount of skill other than being close to that vehicle. I wasn't a fan of it. Alex has said, however, that these are again being monitored for player feedback, and if players have concerns about them, then it's best they speak up, use the CTE Reddit pages, the forums, Twitter, whatever, to talk to the developers to give them more information about what they feel the specialisation should really be doing. I'll link a Reddit post down in the description, actually, that you can give feedback on if you want to. There are loads of people in there all throwing their ideas in, giving DICE feedback. Now, all of this information might be rather a lot to take in, especially if you didn't get a full understanding of what these specialisations actually are. But in essence, so I can explain this very quickly, DICE has taken some steps backwards on some of their additions to the recent CTE patch in response to community feedback. And this is something that DICE actually chose to highlight in their statement. Alex says... We firmly believe the Battlefield 1 CTE is not only a place to gather excellent feedback on work in progress content, but also to test the boundaries of what does and does not work in Battlefield 1. In that regard, I consider the testing of these specialisations as a huge success for the future of Battlefield 1. Thank you for making your opinions heard in a constructive manner. It is by far the best way for us to continue to improve this game we all love. I do totally agree with this statement here. DICE put their toe over the line and tested the waters with some of these new additions, and the community reacted to those. Now DICE knows where the line is, with some degree of accuracy. They also know what the community will allow and not allow when it comes to the Battlefield franchise. I think there are some heavily, strongly opinionated people out there that have played Battlefield games for a long time and have seen these specialisations before, going all the way back to the Refractor Engine games. So, essentially, specialisations are nothing new, but it's interesting to see DICE were willing to push the boundaries a bit here, and I now feel we've landed in a good place with some of those extreme additions being scaled back a little bit. There were some good specialisations in this update as well, and it's good to see those remain in the game, but it's also nice to see DICE take some steps backwards for once and not add something that the community didn't really want. So there we are. Specialisations are still in testing, basically. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section as well, because I know just how much controversy this point caused earlier in the week, 
and no doubt, again, you will have your own thoughts today. I think we're moving in a good direction now, but you might think something completely different. So make sure you leave your comments, and I'll try getting down there to read as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.